Well, that's it first. More floss. Ah. Oh my god. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Tuesday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is how to remove, well, my take on how to remove a mirror, so let's get it. By the way, all home improvement vlogs right freaking here, <laughs> watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Damn, the sun. Is blasting. I'm getting better day by day. That's a good thing. Let's keep on leveling that looks maxing base. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Well, you know, my my bathroom from now on it shall be the looks maxing base. I painted this door frame to perfection. I also started to paint this thing, turning everything white. Yeah, and that's the topic for <laughs> for today. As you can see, there something happened. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was obviously a lie. I know exactly what happened. Classic Chris. I tried eyeballing this mirror, putting it up with just the reference of my eyes and I obviously failed. It's surprisingly leveled, but the fact that I can't stand is the alignment. Check this out. There is like a almost a centimeter missing. Let's check out the other side right here. This thing triggered me and I tried to get it off again and I pulled off this edge first. This never happened before. I managed to get this mirror off before, but with other duct tape, that is. I pulled off this edge and apparently I created a massive pressure point right here and boom, it exploded right in my face. I only got tiny, tiny pieces of glass in my face though. Thank God for my glasses. And the main reason why I wasn't able to get it off again was my new duct tape. This stuff, it's crazy. And I will get to that. <laughs> In my next vlog, if you're interested in how to wall mount mirrors, then check it out right here. But for now, I will just try to get it off mm, with mainly two approaches. The first approach, let's shoot it with a gun, BB gun, oh, of course. I always wanted to do that. And secondly, someone suggested tooth uh, floss. You know, this stuff right here, floss. You just, you know, you cut the duct tape with floss. And I was so stupid, I used five strips of duct tape behind this mirror, so it's on there for good. So yeah. Oh, pretty cool. Nothing's happening. Still very, very sturdy. <laughs> what the heck? It's on the inside. It's flat on the outside. But yeah, this is obviously not how to remove a mirror. This is just me having fun. Oh my god, this is so much fun, I love it. Oh my god, the floor is messed up. Rip little BB balls. Okay, enough fun for today. <laughs> Let's get to work. Imagine how many times I need to shoot this thing for it to come off substantially. So yeah, that's one way, but that's obviously a really stupid way to get rid of a mirror. And I think I just made everything quite a bit worse. Welcome to Chris Myron. <laughs> so let's get to this floss method. Half a meter of floss right there. And now... Hey, is this actually working? Holy crap! Whoa, this is... this is actually working. Whoa. Okay, so that's like one part of the equation I think. A second part would be something to stick behind the mirror. Oh no, I ripped it apart. It works to a degree. Are there other possibilities? How about screwdrivers? Whoa, screwdrivers plus floss maybe. More floss. Oh my God. This is nearly impossible. Oh, there we go again. Yes, flossing does work, but only to a degree. A towel might actually be the right tool for the job. Wrap the mirror in the towel and then you keep on pushing. Let's see what we got. This is going terribly bad.
But this duct tape is holding up really, really good. Wow. Oh, this duct tape is crazy. And I used five strips. Two would be plenty. Ah. The towel approach is pretty, pretty helpful though. Oh my god! Ooh. Another idea would be to tape up the whole mirror with, for example, transparent duct tape so that you don't get bombarded with little glass shards. That would be another amazing idea actually, but I don't have duct tape around. Check this out, it's a little mirror knife. <laughs> Okay, so I'm almost done and the reason why I filmed this whole ordeal was because I consider this as a fairly risky <coughs> job to, well, to remove this mirror. It turned out to be extremely horrible, but somehow I managed to not bleed. Pretty awesome. Okay, that was the main job for today. I will finish the rest on my own. This shouldn't be a problem, but it goes to show do think twice before taping a freaking mirror to your walls. And also think about the duct tape, how much duct tape you need, which duct tape and stuff like that. But I will talk more about that in my next vlog. <laughs> That's enough for today. So yeah, sm ooh, smash that like button the way I just got smashed by the sun. Bang the bell like <laughs> To never miss home improvement vlogs, check the recent news on chrisvira.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>